What is going on everybody? Welcome to yet another gameplay stream. I am super stoked to be here. I hope that you guys are as well. I am very, very excited because today we're playing one of my favorite decks, uh, which is Rakdos Midrange. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh, but before we do, I just want to mention we do have our second Kaldheim giveaway going on right now. If you are interested in entering that one, you can go check out our Twitch or excuse me, our Twitter, where we have the giveaway post pinned to the top of our channel. If you would like to check that out, all you got to do is follow us there and then retweet that tweet. If you do so, you're entered to win a free Kaldheim bundle, and that bundle will be given away uh, on March 1st. So uh, we've got just a few more days of that, and it's going to be a really fun one. So thank you to everybody who did uh, enter that already. We really do appreciate it. And thank you guys for jumping in the stream. I really appreciate that as well. Tomorrow we will be doing our card hunt uh, for Vorinclex if we get it. We're giving it away to one of you guys, so make sure that you are there for that as well. You do have to be live in the Twitch chat to be eligible to win that Vorinclex. Additionally, if you subscribe during that stream, you will be uh, gifted a random rare mythic or showcase card from the box that we open. So, just a heads up there. Uh, really, really exciting stuff. Really stoked to get into it. Let's jump into the deck. So, uh, this is a tried and true classic deck, honestly. We've seen this for quite a while, but it's just a really good deck. Uh, it's Rakdos midrange. A uh, lot of the same elements still apply. We still have the claim the firstborn with village rights sacrificing uh, the creatures that we steal. Uh, we've got other ways to sacrifice with woe striders. Naturally, just a really really good card in this. Uh, we also have a brand new card, Emmerstorm Predator, which is potentially one of the most amazing creatures I think out of the new set. I love this card so much. You're able to sacrifice a creature, tap it, and give it indestructible. Uh, and then whenever it becomes tapped, exile a target card from a graveyard and put a 1-1 counter on it. Uh, it's just such a hard to deal with kind of uh, creature. Uh, and it's obviously a really aggressive card being able to fly over and deal some damage that way. We also have things like the Akroa War to help steal some of the opponent's creatures. Works really, really well against a lot of the like green decks that play things that are, you know, just big. You can steal them, d do some damage with them, and then maybe sacrifice them with a Village Rites or a Woe Strider later on. Uh, now, the big new card here is Valky slash Tibalt. Uh, ideally, we're going to play it for the Tabalt side, but this is a fairly aggressive deck, so there are going to be situations where we just play it out for Valky, uh, get the value early, uh, and then hopefully can can just deal the damage and finish off the game. So we'll see if that actually happens, but uh, regardless, this is just such a good card. Of course, Croxa is in here, this time as a 3 of, not the full 4, uh, and ways to get it into the graveyard with things like Mire Triton. Uh, and Tamarek Calls the Dead, which just gives us a little bit of extra longevity. Uh, gains us a little bit of life, hopefully, but also gives our creatures or, creatures or enchantments in the graveyard a little bit of work, too. Uh, so, really, really like this deck. We do have Skyclave Shade here as an aggressive card, and then at the very top, we've got a 1 of Goldspan Dragon and a Song Mad Treachery, uh, which is a really interesting one, but it can finish off the game for us, so we're going to try that. We have a 1 of Hagra Mauling. Uh, I think that's every- oh, uh, Shatter Skull Smashing as well to deal with some of the other troublesome early game stuff. And then 21 lands, Castle Lockdwayne is here to help us draw some cards, and the rest of it is pretty straightforward. So, let's jump right in. Uh, I really do like this deck, I think this is a very fun one. Uh, and it's a classic, right? Like, we've seen this deck do well in the meta for quite a while, uh, and I'm really excited to see how it goes here. Sorry about that, guys. We keep having issues with the uh, the stream just dropping out. I hate that. Um, I also definitely forgot to upload uh, the deck to Stream Decker, so we're going to give this a shot. This just keeps happening. Okay, we're back. I, I have it up on my other screen so I can actually check it as we are here. Hopefully we can fix this issue, but uh, I don't know what's causing it. Um, it's been really frustrating, though. Hey, it's MTG time. It absolutely is. Let's go ahead and jump in. Hey, Omega. How you guys doing today? Uh, sorry for the uh, interruption there. We're going to, first of all, paste our deck list. Uh, let's see. Mid-range. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and jump in. Hopefully we can find a game. We've just been having some serious, serious network issues, it seems like, here. Um, and so I'm hoping that we can uh, fix that soon. Uh, did you win the last one yesterday? Uh, no, so it actually timed out on us. Um, so we had another network issue and it shut the game down, and so we unfortunately did not win. 
Um, so Omega, we finished the day at what, what was it? Seven and two or six and two? I think it was six and two. That's a pretty good record though. Uh, I am not unhappy about that. Omega Pete, how are you doing? Garrett, you doing all right today? I, like I said, I'm going to be monitoring the stream as we go through today. Um, and I will do my best to restart anytime it just drops out like that. I have no clue what has been happening there. I've troubleshooted like crazy and just not found anything. Garrett having a good week. I like it, buddy. How's school going? Weren't you uh, working on school stuff? All right. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go Skyclave Shade. Uh, Tapia, what is up, buddy? How are you today? Good to see you. Rakdos and midrange, my jam, Alex, I like it. Yep, had a couple of big tests this week that went really well, so all good. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Very happy to hear that. Um, all right, let's make him discard a card, potentially. Uh, Omega, doing fine in arena, always with the same issue. I want to be on the top 1,200, and I'm always jumping on or off of it. Omega, I like it, man. That's awesome. Tapia on lunch right now. I hope you are enjoying your lunch. What are you having for lunch is the big question, Tapia. Uh, is Rakdos more or less sack? Yeah. Uh, I absolutely love this deck. Uh, it's just a it's a classic one. Uh, doing okay. Pretty quiet day. Ordered a longboard as my partner wants to roller skate. Never skated, so I'm going to use my time off work and... Uh, Hey, I like it. That's awesome. Get rid of the other Tamarit Calls the Dead and throw this out there. Fridays are my eating out days. Oh, no. Tapia, nobody likes a, a salad. That's so boring. <laughs> Actually, okay, I have to... I shouldn't have a story about salad. I, I shouldn't, but I do. Uh, I've recently discovered that I actually do like salad. Um, so I can't actually hate on salad that much but I did just recently discover that. Um, I have for the longest time been a very unhealthy eater uh, and that has not changed, uh, but I still like salad now. So that's exciting. All right, let's attack in. Uh, this is gonna be a problem. Uh, a Crow and War can help us. I'm gonna do the, the play that hopefully gets us the most life here uh, for the next turn, honestly. Uh, yeah, we'll just get rid of a Meyer Triton. Salads can be dope. Pete, you're right. I'm sorry, but I just don't like salads that much. I like my basic salad. That is basically it, and that's it. Uh, it's a very straightforward salad with like spinach, a little bit of black olives, some baby corn, some stuff like that. That's good. Uh, I like salads, just not as satisfying as let's say pizza or a burger. Very true, Tapia, very, very true. Uh, give me a land, give me a land. Oh, that still kind of works. Um, I'm gonna go Fable Passage. To be truly honest, the salads I like are <laughs> we're not all that healthy. Yeah, I understand. I'm just gonna steal this. So unexciting. But we're gonna deal some damage. Uh... With your rabbit self, Alex, I like it. Uh, I'm used to making rocket goat cheese at work. So. Oh, nice. Interesting. They were trying to make it indestructible. That wasn't really what I had in mind, so that's fine. We're just in the damage race here. They did not need to discard a card, but I'm glad they did. <laughs> Alright, uh, so next turn we accrue in war and hope to win. Uh, we do have the land on top, so we should be able to get it. Uh, as long as they can't kill us this turn or do anything too crazy, we might be able to just get it, but we'll see. Fairness, my favorite salad is tuna salad, since I love my <laughs> a tuna milk. I actually hate tuna. I'm a picky eater, guys. Oh no. Is it happening again? No. Okay. Whew. All right. I'm. I have it up here so I can double check things, but it did not go out, thankfully. Um. No, I hate tuna though. I'm so picky, guys. I'm really picky. 
it's a problem. I've recently though, I will say I've recently expanded my palette and the, the reason being, so Caitlin and I decided to do uh, HelloFresh, which, you know, is what it is. You either like it or you don't, and that's fine, like totally cool. But for us, it was a nice way to like, uh, raiding with a party of three, Don, thank you, buddy. Oh, that's so nice. Um, did we, oh, we discarded the card. Well, um, Don is the man, everybody. Let's get some hype for Don. Thank you so much, man. Oh, you're too kind. You are too kind. Let's get this last card out of hand here. Don's the man, guys. Don is the man. All right, got that out of there. So we attack for lethal. I have to do something here, so let's do this. Uh, new follower just popped in, Pappy316. Thank you so much for being here, man. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the stream. More of a grumpy squirrel at the moment. Don, why are you grumpy? Why are you so grumpy? That's not good. Toppy is showing that hype. Alex as well. Pappy, what is up, my man? Hype, hype. I like it. Good to see you, Pappy. Welcome to the stream. Uh, really curious to see what they do. Hey, Splayer's here as well. Look at this. We just got all the cool people. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. Yeah, this game is kind of close. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, they just win though. All right. They just have to attack in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and concede. That unfortunately just was a matter of if we had had a land, I think we could have won. Um, but that's okay. Big sad. Not in the mood to spread negativity. Don, I appreciate it, man. Uh, in all serious seriousness, Don, if... Uh, I hope it's nothing serious. But if it is, feel free to message me on either here or on Discord or something like that. We'll talk it out, buddy. Um, Anti-hype in the chat. Thank you, Tapia. Thank you, Alex. Who wants to keep score for the day? Who wants to keep score? Um, would certainly appreciate it. Let's jump into game two. Hopefully we have a little bit of a better luck in this game. Uh, oh, this is an interesting hand, isn't it? Um, Bone Crusher Giant makes this hand okay. Omega. <laughs> Thanks, Omega. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Um, you know, I actually don't want that at the moment. As much as I really love the dragon that's not what we're looking for at this exact moment so let's throw this out there get a card out of hand just letting alex have a have a day off i like it okay wicked wolf out of there i like it uh probably just gonna leave up bone crusher giant this coming turn or we're just gonna use it to immediately kill that um definitely played that incorrectly i should have Need to slow down. Should have played the Temple of Malice, but it's fine. Um, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, just here while I'm eating and prepping. I appreciate you. I like it. Alex, I appreciate you hanging out with us a little bit today, buddy. Um, Alright, let's see what we get. Land. Hmm. I think no. I think we need a sack outlet. All right, let's do this. This chat is almost too nice for Twitch, Omega. <laughs> I am very, very proud of the fact that our <laughs> our Twitch is very kind, um, and really our whole community. We're very fortunate in that regard. It's a very good time this week while dog sitting. I like it. Um, hit him with the chair. Hey, chef, chef, what's up, buddy? So the question is. We play Shade, and then I think we just play Valky to pull a creature out. Uh, the way this... Well, they've got black, but like... Okay. Let's take Boring Flex. Wow, they just have a handful of unplayable stuff. Well, I like that. We got a Boring Clex. I like it. Um, hopefully we can get a Boring Clex tomorrow. All right, uh, you pulled a boring clex. I like it. Yes, we did. We did it. Alex, we did it. Um, 
Uh, now we just hold up. We have Bone Crusher Giant. I'm assuming they're just gonna drop Garrick, and they may minus three to try and play something, uh, or to try and kill maybe Valky. In which case, we Bone Crusher Giant the Garrick in response, and it dies. And then we've got seven exactly. Are the finishers Goldspan and Tabalt? Pretty much, yes, Alex. Um, the other one is the the Predator Dragon, the Rakdos Dragon, which is also quite good. Okay, that's an interesting play. Um, well, we just win anyway then. We just get to claim this. Easy win. Easy win, easy win. The vamp one. Um, just doing great. Chef, I really enjoy this one. This deck is very, very solid. Um, there we go. We did it, we did it, we did it. All right. Yes, the vampire dragon. Oh, Omega said, thank you. Thank you, Omega. Appreciate you, buddy. Hype in the chat, guys. We did it. We got a, our first win. We are one and one. Omega, thank you so much for keeping track of the score. Let's hope we can get there. Get some more wins with this one. I'm gonna do my best. At my goal over the next few streams, gameplay streams, is to slow down and try and avoid the misplays that I usually have. I think my problem is I try and fill that time with talking and stuff and then I get distracted because I'm easily distracted. And that is not technically how you should do this. So, uh, yeah, we keep. We'll lean on Fable Passage here, uh, get a Swamp, which will make the Castle Lockthwing come into play on tap so we can next turn play the Mountain and then play Mire Triton. Rakdos, Historic Vampires with Dragons is... Ooh, nice. I see, and I just did this. I I skipped through the turn. This is my problem. I was talking and completely disregarded the fact that there is a game right here. 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 Just completely disregarded it. Crack the passage. Now I'm feeling bad. It was my fault. No, it was not. You're fine. 100% uh, my fault. Uh, let's do this. I'm gonna Mire Triton. Um, let them think we have a village rights. And this also, it's just Death Touch, so it just makes it a little easier to block if we need to. Okay, well, that's a problem. Um, now I had wished we had done the hard to present and play. The problem is, it's actually not if you are good at it. <laughs> Alex. So that's kind of on me. <laughs> Get second red. I'm gonna attack in. I'm probably gonna mauling this, but I'm gonna wait. Let's see what they do. We're, this is instant speed, so. Perfect, let them equip this. Spin their mana, all right. Now let's kill it. Now they've wasted all their mana and they've got nothing to show for it. Uh, all right. Yeah, that was a very solid turn for us. All right, so part of me thinks we need to do this so that way we do have a sack outlet so in case they get a creature. The other part of me is like, well, this is also, ah, uh, yeah, this is a better sack outlet. All right. Woe Strider is just so good for the advantage. Uh, Vamp Dragon is so cool. Yeah, dude, he's just so good. Uh, it, yes, we can Woe Strider and Claim, but this also is a sack outlet. I always forget that there's that added text there. Equip it, equip it. Perfect. Great. We gonna steal that. Uh... They could, I guess they probably don't, but they could, I guess, have a protection spell of some kind, maybe. I mean... <laughs> uh, we don't have to. Let's do this. Uh, we'll put a counter here. Get rid of that. Now we'll do this, though. 
Uh, keeping damage down in the early rounds. Uh, I often like trading um, creatures as much as possible in the early game with this deck, Chef. Uh, in particular, like, if they had offered a trade for anything, I would have happily done it uh, with, like, Meyer Triton or something like that. The real, the reality of this deck... Um, to sack for this guy, yeah. Um, so the reality with this deck is that you can trade off a lot better um, because you get the advantage in the graveyard. Um, so it actually works out pretty well. Uh, this doesn't really matter, does it? Um, I'll sack it. We're going to keep this on top. It doesn't really matter. Um, that does literally nothing since we know what they've got, but it's fine. We just get to steal this and attack in, so it, we know the next turn. Steal it. And we attack with the goat. Alright, we did it. We did it, we did it. Two and one. Omega coming through with the score. Thank you so much, buddy. Feel free, guys. Uh, hype in the chat. We got another win. Uh, but yeah, Chef, so for this, uh, do you play any Vortex? No, I do not. Um, Goat MVP. <laughs> Alex, I like it. Uh, Chef, yeah, I, I love trading as much as you can in the early game because the reality is the value comes from the graveyard with this deck, so you can do a lot more of that. Um, and like double blocks, things like that. Just make sure that you're not taking too much damage. You do have a little bit of life gain in this deck between Tamarack Calls of the Dead and Meyer Triton. Uh, so you've got ways to kind of uh, avoid some of that, but ideally you just want to trade off as much as you can. This is an interesting hand, but I am going to keep it. Um, if we get an untapped land on top, we would take it. That is questionable. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on the bottom. We have the Shatter Skull smashing. I'd just prefer not to take three if we can help it. Uh, but it opens up Bone Crusher Giant as an option here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Just in case. We'll see. Uh, when the Sultai Ultimatum got popular, Vortex was a really good counter, but it seems that uh, as Mono White and Red got to their first tier, Sultai dropped a little bit. Yeah, it did. It definitely did. Alright, let's do this. We're gonna get rid of one of these guys. This flame is gonna be really good against some of this stuff. Oh, that's so perfect. Okay. Uh... We'll go ahead and get a second Black Source here. And with that, Rakdos gets better because it excels against creature decks. Yeah, it's very, very good at just stealing stuff and then making it, obviously, worthless for the opponent. Uh, I think we obvious... I think we just wait for them to play the quest... Or the Love Struck Beast, seal that, and then sack it. Yeah. That's fine. We take one. Oh, no. Okay. Um... All right, let's do this. You love threat and effects, yeah. Steal this. Just gonna go ahead and sack it because we can't attack with it. Land. That's a no go. Definitely don't need a land. Um. All right. Hopefully they just play another love struck beast, I guess, and like we find a steal effect off the top. They may have something better. Looks like they do. Uh, but we at least get to sack in response. Uh, hopefully scry something good to the top. Not a land. Okay. Golgarian standard. Golgari is, like, not that bad, actually. Um, poor goat. Yeah, well... <laughs> We're gonna take black here. We need more black for sure. Um, I don't actually want to lose the Predator Dragon, but 
let's just do this. All right. Let's see what happens. We have the village rights up, so worst case scenario, we just get to draw two cards here. <clears throat> Which is why village rights is stupid good. <laughs> Hopefully they don't have another binding. That would be kind of annoying. That's fine. Yeah, let's just do this. All right, guys, are we back? I believe we should be at net at this point. I am so frustrated with that. Um, it said an unknown error had occurred, so I'm gonna look into that and see if I can figure out what's going on. Sorry about it, guys. I hope everybody hung in there. I really do appreciate it. Sorry about that. Um, God, that's so frustrating. It is what it is. Um, let's get rid of that. Sorry about that, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging in there. I really do appreciate it. Get rid of binding. Alright. Uh, if you missed the last turn, which you all did, uh, basically we kind of just got a bunch of stuff back out onto the field, which is great for us because now we can kind of start to take some advantage of what they're doing here. Um, or... There we go. Uh, the question is, do we want to attack in? I think yes. Alright. Steal some damage. I'm going to let this die. Alright, who all is back in chat, guys? Let me know. Omega, I see you. Pete, I see you. Hmm. Greed Lord opponent? Yeah, basically. Alex is here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. The question is, do we want to block here? And I think the answer is no. Sack this. Valky, yes please. Heck yes. Toppy is back. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Alright. We're about to get rid of some stuff. Um Yeah, we're we're playing to belt this turn. <laughs> uh the question becomes do we want to minus three or do we want to uh and I think we kind of have to minus three here. We just have to deal with Questing Beast before it can actually get in some damage. Um, now do we attack in? I think the answer is no. Kind of want to protect Tabalt here. We can play this Questing Beast at any time. So we've got just kind of a glass cannon of four damage at some point. Um, but obviously in a turn where you play Tabalt, you tend to lose out on the, the mana side of things. So we're going to do the best we can to hold this up. Um, and protect him just a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, sure. I mean, that's fine. Uh, yeah, this is a very greedy opponent, for sure. Surprising. Hmm. This is not a good attack on the opponent's end. Really? Okay. Um, let's do this. And let's do this. We've declared that as a blocker. That should protect that damage. And then this questing beast dies. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, seems like an easy one. 
This now does no damage, and we just kill a questing beast. Done. All right. So next turn we get to plus up to Balt with a ton of mana. Uh, and we've already got a questing beast available. So like, I feel pretty good about this one now. Um, not to mention our predator is just getting big and it's indestructible this turn so they can't really kill it. A hinge for us, I would love a hinge. Um, that'd be great. Opponent slow rolling us here a little bit. I hate when people do this. This is kind of frustrating. So they obviously can't play Lovestruck Beast. They have a card in hand, but the only land on the field is a Fable Passage. Like, just pass. Um, yeah, he's got to play Hinge in this deck, for sure. 100%. Um, if you get two plus twos off of Tabalt, you just win pretty sure. Oh, dude. You don't need, but that you only need a little bit of uh, extra hits with Tabalt, and you're usually pretty good. Obviously, it's dependent on what you hit, right? Like, I could get two lands, which isn't very good, but I get a free Questing Beast this turn, so that's fine. Um, so there, we'll we'll be fine. But I think this opponent's just butt hurt about this, so they're they're doing this. And I hate this. Annoying, annoying. Maybe they, maybe they timed out, right? Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. This should be reportable. Omega, it is very annoying. I mean, I appreciate the fact that Wizards put in a timer for this kind of stuff, because eventually they just lose, and like, I'll wait it out. But it's frustrating on stream in particular when you guys, you know, you're here to hang out and have some fun and watch some games, and... While I like to think I'm an enjoyable person to just hang out and talk to, I also think you're probably here more for the magic. And so I don't really like when on stream in particular people do this because it's just like, okay, you're just wasting everybody's time, not just mine. It's all of you guys now that are having time wasted. I know that sometimes people don't have any fault, but sometimes people really do it on purpose. Yeah, 100%. Tapia magic, what's up? <laughs> Tapia, I love you, man. You're the best. 30% magic, 30% Kev, 40% chill noise to work to. Alex, I like it. As long as I'm some percentage of it, that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, Alex, definitely worth it. We got there, guys. Hype in the chat. Hype in the chat. Um, all right, let's do this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's jump in. Uh, keeping an eye on time here. Probably do a couple more games. I know we had some interruptions this time around, uh, and I'm very sorry for that. I have no clue what's going on. Uh, it just keeps saying that there's an unknown error, so we're gonna look into that a little bit this afternoon and try and figure it out. Uh, Cause I, I would hate for that to happen during the card hunt, honestly. Um, that would be terrible. All right, what we got? Um, yeah. Pretty easy keep. We'll Fable Passage turn one. Uh, since we don't really, we're not gonna play anything turn one. And then we'll uh, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I like this. Tomorrow is Friday, yep. Alex, it's my birthday tomorrow. Come hang out. <laughs> um, I'm really excited for my birthday and for the card hunt. I'm turning 28. Uh, which is Caitlin so eloquently reminds me every single day um, I'm getting slightly old uh, But hey, that's okay <laughs> I'm almost 30. That's kind of crazy All right opponents just doing the thing uh, I'm turning 30 Monday wait for that then you feel the weight Ooh, Omega Omega Omega. Well, I do hope that you have a fantastic birthday, buddy. Um, we'll obviously be streaming, hopefully, without airs. And so, uh, we'll, uh, we'll do something for you, I'm sure. Dude, I'd love to come till just can't find the dang time. Dude, I feel ya. Uh, thanks, Alex. You're so kind. How old are you, Alex? You're not that much younger than me. You're Will's age. Don's 41. Oh, no. 
done. You might get the uh, old timer award. <laughs> oh, I like that. All right, I'm assuming they, well, I don't know what they take here. Uh, now I can already know when the weather is gonna change based on my bones, like my grandparents used to say. <laughs> oh, that's really funny, Omega. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Uh, we have a sir among us. We do. Don is the sir. We have to call Don sir now. Sir Don. Death touch deck, huh? Well, that's annoying. They get claimed. That's not bad. Um, all right. Let me do this. Get a card out of hand. Turgrid deck? Yeah, probably. Um, it's gotta be with that many discard spells. No, Nobody in their right mind runs to rest normally. Um, I won't say nobody, but generally speaking. Younger than Will by two years? Sarah's probably kill me for forgetting her. And <laughs> but I got siblings much older than you. Huh. I definitely thought you were the same name, or the same age. With discard and removal, yeah. Have you by five months, Pappy says. All right. They're just gonna play Predator. Get stuff out of hand here so they can't discard it. Um, now the worst thing they can get is a Meyer Triton, which sucks, but honestly, not the end of the world. This is definitely a turd grid deck though, uh, and I'm not gonna attack. Make the round table, my sirs. I like it. <laughs> Pappy, Don, Omega. We got we got all the sirs today. I like that. Uh, I am gonna take this trade since we've got another Meyer Triton here. They do get to draw a card, but this shuts down the card draw then for the rest of it. Let's get you out. And I think we're just gonna crocs it here. I know we lose Woe Strider, but we've got the sack outlet here, and this gets a card out of hand that they did draw, so they're even on advantage. I think that's worth it. Plus, I will take this trade in a heartbeat. <laughs> this Gargaroth is frustrating. Any card draw card engines kind of needs to be dealt with quick in the mid-range deck, otherwise you're just kind of drowning value. I agree with that. Um, and like I said earlier, like you can take the trades because the value is there for you in the graveyard, so it doesn't really matter. Um, the worry for us is that they just keep drawing cards and then pull the the turret or whatever they need to assemble what they're trying to do. If they just can't do that, then we're in great shape. Uh, I'm not gonna attack here, just in case. Um, we should be able to out card advantage, not card advantage necessarily, but out beat pace them uh, with the hands. So I'm kind of leaning on that a little bit. That may not be correct because they do have the Gargaroth. They discard grave removal. Yeah, they did, which is a very interesting play, but I guess they're thinking we just don't have any right now. Let's give this indestructible. Ooh, do they have a spell in response? Wow, okay. Uh, is a perfect example of how much better a 6-6 six, six in green is compared to any other color. Quirkspine, yeah. Gargaroth is stupid good, like 100%. It's just very, very good. Uh, this is, well. Let's take it slow. We can't attack in because they do have the Gargaroth. Also power creep, yeah, power creep is for real. Uh, the only good news here is they are top decking, and if they attack with the Gargaroth, I'm trading like crazy. Um, if they kill this, that's fine, because they're filling our yard for uh, Croxa. I think we're probably going to lose this one, but we're we're holding in as best we can. I are on Facebook. Kev had a great example of what a fair... Oh, yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, Morrow in comparison is hilarious to me. 
All right, so they win, right? Because they just get to attack with two things. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and concede. They just got it. Let's do one final game, guys. Let's do one final game. Really appreciate everybody hanging in there through all the stream issues. I assure you, I've been looking into it uh, and trying to narrow down and troubleshoot what's going on. Uh, if we attacked, they just blocked. Uh, but if we didn't attack, they still had enough power on the field to kill us, even if we could block one of their creatures. So, uh, back with the treasure. Uh, I don't think, I think we had five cards in the graveyard, unless I'm wrong, I might be wrong, but I think we had five cards in the graveyard, including Croxa, so I don't think we could have. Uh, let's see, follow IR on face, oh yeah, yeah. Follow us everywhere, if you're not following us, you definitely should, there's a bunch of links right down below. Uh, Omega, that would have been the play I was trying to do, but I think, again, I could be wrong, um... Yeah, we only have five. Okay. That was my thought. Um, interesting that we have double bulky, but I'm going to keep this. Yes, click the links, do the thing. Alex coming in clutch. I like it. Uh, this is a great draw, actually, too. And yeah, I'm going to keep Croxa. Kind of need land at some point. Like a little bit extra, but we should be okay. Okay. I'm just going to kill this. Lotus Cobra is one of those cards I do not like to let sit. You bolt the bird always, you know. Uh, they did also mulligan, so there's a world where we just kind of get to catch them. I kind of just want to crocs it here. Um, is that correct, though? We could Valky or we could Croxa. Either way, gets a card out of hand. Um, I'm worried. Uh, we're going to Croxa. We're going to try. This gives them the option, which is not good. Uh, but we've got the Hagra Mauling in hand. So for whatever creature they pull, uh, we should be able to kill it. Um, the only downside is we do need... At some point, we need a land. Oh, look. A land. Um... All right, we get Azusa. Uh, not the greatest card for us in the world, but it's a card for us. Uh, anyone here enjoys football, soccer? I see, I see. Um, I can say I don't, Omega, but I'm not a sports guy. All right. Hmm. Uh, really wish we had a land here, but we just don't. So we can play Bone Crusher. We can also just play Predator, which I think is probably the best thing. The other option is just to Hagger Mauling this. Let's see. Whenever it lands, uh, play the card as long as it remains exiled. That's so interesting. Um, I actually think because of that, we're going to get rid of this. Um, so that just allows them to play extra lands, which I don't really want them to be able to do with these two out on the field. Uh, it just shuts, it makes those dead drops off the top. Okay. Alright, well, here comes the fun. This is a very interesting little uh, combo here. Yep. They're just going to get us on this one. Passage is so good. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh man. What an interesting deck this is. Oh, I like this. I am very curious onto this deck. This is a cool one. I wish I had saved the mauling now. That was a mistake. Uh, yeah. You got it. Pretty cool. So, Jun Landfall? Yeah, this is Jun Landfall. Alright. Well, that was a turn. Um get you out of hand and let's fill up the yard a little bit how in the world did he make it work yeah right like that's a that's an engine if I like a 
There's a lot of moving pieces to this one, um, but it is actually really interesting. That landfall off a of binding. Look, I can't be mad. This is pretty cool. Um, Genesis ultimatum. So it's four color? What in the world is this? <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah. Do you just get to Genesis? Look, if we lose to this, it's fine. We earned it. They have World Tree. This is amazing. Crack for blue. Why don't they crack for blue? Oh, because they can World Tree this turn and then it doesn't matter? I have to cheer for this guy. This is freaking cool. World Tree and so far we saw no god. It's not the point, I don't think. The point's just to get any color mana. Um, so they can Genesis ultimatum and do stupid stuff. This is cool. I'm, I'm gonna nice them. Wow. Yeah, dude. This is freaking sweet. We're gonna let them run this out. This is freaking cool. Um, it's a good strong way to end the day, I think, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, they deal 10. How did they get this far with this deck? That's amazing. Yeah, right? Especially after, um, I believe they mulliganed and we discarded some of their hand. Like, this is wicked. Uh, we may jack this deck. And, uh, play it on stream next week, because this is just freaking cool. Yeah, dude. Okay, then the, all these go and we lose, because they just deal damage to us. That was cool. Um, that felt very, very fun, honestly. I can't be too upset about that. Uh, guys, thank you so much for being here. I apologize we had some issues as well. Uh, hopefully, again, I'll be looking into that this afternoon. We'll figure that one out. But regardless, guys, it's, a, it's always a pleasure to hang out with you. Uh, thank you so much for being here. And I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow for the card hunt uh, for Vorinclex. So, uh, Omega final score, three and three. Thank you so much, buddy. Uh, appreciate it, guys. I will see you hopefully tomorrow for my birthday stream. I'm so excited. I'll talk to you guys then. <laughs>